sketchbook tour. Sometimes they motivate me, sometimes they unmotivate me. You ever see the sketchbook tours where it's like somebody from like Pixar or something and they're just like going crazy in the sketchbook. Like every page looks like it could just be printed and hung up on the wall. Well, that's not what this sketchbook tour is going to look like. It's literally me sketching, brainstorming new ideas, making a mess, trying new pens, trying new pencils, new markers. I think I even did some sticky note cutout stuff in here. It's just, it's a mess. It's not, it's a sketchbook, all right? It's not a finished book or... It's not a pretty art book. Uh, what would we call it if it's like... It's not a Pixar book. There you go. It's just a mess, but uh, that's your introduction. Let's get into it as usual. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you for all the love, all the comments, all the feedback, all the critiques. That's all, I think. Let's, uh, let's look at the book. Okay, let's go. Okay, I hope you guys like that introduction. I'm trying to record this to the best of my abilities, but you've seen a million sketchbook tours. Do you like them? You don't like them? I don't know. I like them. I like watching them. Like I said in the beginning, sometimes they unmotivate me because everybody's so good and like the 12 year olds are just like, damn, are you 12 and rolling like that? That's amazing. And it, I get kind of sad and I think about it. I'm like, it's okay. Everybody has their own, their own little journey they take. But uh, yeah, there's my cover. Um, it's a mess. I regret doing it, but uh, I just got a cricket and I was going crazy with stickers and all that. Still like this link sticker, the Jedi link. Anyways, first page, let's go. June 25th. I think I had just seen Spider-Verse. When did Spider-Verse come out? It came out in June, right? I'm pretty sure. Just seen Spider-Verse. Not only I was trying out pastels here, but I had to get like views, make content for the TikTok. At that time, I was like trying to engage more and make more content for my TikTok. Now I really don't care. I just upload whatever, but I was trying to do whatever I could to get views and now I'm not getting views. So I don't even care. Anyways, spectacular Spider-Man with the oil pastels which i love but it's i think you need a spray to lock it in let's look at this page anyways that's the first page spectacular spider-man and then after i did this one it kind of did numbers so i said oh if you like this what character should i do next and then everybody's like oh metro booming so i did metro booming this is actually with um crayola crayons so the first one was oil pastels this is crayola crayons and like i said i'm just trying anything i'm trying a bunch of new stuff till i fall on stuff that i love i think towards the end is when i start to find something i'm in love with not all my pages are front and back most of them are the pages where i use marker i don't think i did the back because of bleed but this is when i got my first set of oh hoo hoo markers and they sent me like a pastel i want to say pack i didn't know what i was going to do with it there was a lot of green so i was like oh, i'm gonna do a bunch of ninja turtles and this is when the movie was about to come out too so I was just trying to do that style, which I love. The sketchy Spider-Verse art style that everybody does now. Yeah, see this page had a bleed, so I didn't draw. But then this is my character, Tap, for my comic book that doesn't exist, but I want to make a cartoon, which doesn't exist either. But I was playing with colors. He's like a neon. None of this is going to be... These are not his actual colors, but I was just messing around with the neon markers. Because that's all I had at the time. I never really had alcohol markers before, and they sent me a little pack. And it was all like neon pastels and i love it i'm grateful for that i appreciate them reaching out and sending me those i'm so happy oh this is pretty cool though. i didn't even see that little zombie dude that's cool and then then we have some sticker ideas i was doing for halloween i remember this because i think i didn't sell i didn't sell any actually and i think about it if i keep going i was trying to make like a cool little ghost and crocs i was trying to make some like cute little chibi or because I noticed that's what everybody was selling on Etsy when I would look up when stickers were like cute adorable stuff so I was like you know I'm gonna do that I can do that so I did this a whole little sticker pack of uh little characters and I also made these for the Ohuhu video because they sent me markers and they said if I could make a video using them so this was a video and uh the video is still up on my YouTube I believe I don't think I privated it but yeah, I made a sticker pack. I didn't sell one. And then this is my little character. His name is uh, Domo. And he's like a little bunny blockhead from Blocky Planet. And he and he feeds on procrastination. He's, he's like, this planet's like based on like blocking creatives from doing anything. And they have fun and they love it. And they 
They get mad when you draw. Nice. They don't like that. And this is Balin from Ahsoka. Oh, dope character, dope character. Uh, I was trying to get like a big chunky design and play around with some shapes, but uh, never finished. Which, what I do a lot in my sketchbooks, I never finish. Oh, Avatar, Aang. Um, the Nickelodeon was doing, or was it Nickelodeon? It was Avatar Studios, I believe. They're doing submissions, portfolio submissions for an internship, or I forgot what it was exactly, but everybody was doing it. I was like, man, I haven't drawn anything Avatar since I was like a kid, but I would really love to submit. So I started brushing up my skills, trying to draw Aang and try to draw on that art style, but I never finished, so I didn't. Ever, I never submitted. Or I did submit, but obviously they didn't choose me. But yeah, uh, here again we have, I posted on TikTok this drawing Spider-Man with only two colors and everybody's like, it's actually four. There's white, black, red, and blue, but I meant like two markers. I had a blue marker and I had like an off red color. That's what I meant. I didn't count the black, I didn't count the white, but everybody on TikTok was just like, that's four colors and i'm just like bro no it's i mean yeah it is but it's not i'm only using two blue and red and it's not even red and i'm only using these colors because again oh sent me that little pack of like 25 pastels and i was just doing what i could with it but i love this one i love this drawing i think this would be cool a cool print i don't know what do you think if you just like this would you just like this as a print i like that and then here i'm drawing a bunch of luffy this is um on Twitter, I forgot their name. This is another artist. If I find it, I'll put the I'll put it right here. What their name was. I was just trying to imitate their style a little bit, but then also doing a bunch of my own versions of Luffy. And again, I'm just using the alcohol markers. I'm just using grayscale, which is kind of blue. This is one of my characters from a Halloween story that I did. Pretty cool guy, pretty cool dude. He's a he's a fighter, he loves to fight, and this is at the boxing gym. I'll try to draw some life, you know, like artists do. Somebody had this Dutch Bros sticker on their bottle, which is pretty cool. Um, Patreon stuff. This is a sticker idea I had for Patreon art block, which I'm still gonna do because I love this one. But then as I was doing it, I was like, this would probably be cool on a shirt or a hat. So then I wanted to do it on a hat, and then I forgot about it because it's lost in my sketchbook. But this is going to be a sticker on Patreon. I just haven't made it yet. So I'm thinking next month, August. So if you want to join the Patreon and get this as a sticker, that's going to be next month. Art block. Art block sticker. I wasted a lot of paper here. Damn. Oh, this one is a... I actually got to do my city's marathon medal. Uh, the Modesto Marathon. And I got to do the design. These ones didn't get chosen, but I really like this one. But I wanted to do like a cartoony style and... They didn't end up liking it. They wanted a more realistic, vectorized, like esports logo type thing. So I ended up doing that instead, which is still pretty cool that I got to do it. I'm happy for that. More of my character trying to draw him and get used to trying to get used to his shape so I could draw him and replicate him over and over and over again, which I never do. Every time I draw him, he looks different. This is Koteri Inc. You guys know Koteri. I was uh, October 9th, 2023. I was using Morpho books, I believe, and trying to like practice and then i was like ah, i'm gonna practice some art style so i got koteri i went to his instagram i think or his book I, I have his comic book i don't remember if i use his comic book for reference or his instagram this is me learning to practice or here's another piece i did a video for i forgot what the video was about but i was just yapping probably like i usually do but a bunch of self portraits i was growing my hair out and i look kind of goofy now that i look at it i look like a hobo yeah, I look like a hobo, but uh, I'm keeping the uh, grayscale thing. I like this too. I think this would be a cool print, but who the heck would want a print of me? Oh, there's me again, wasting a whole sheet, as usual. Um, Some random, I don't know what the heck that is, Vegeta? Uh, Invincible, I hate this page, because this one bothers me a lot. And this one, I don't know, which one is nose? And this one, I don't know. Why is Invincible so hard to draw? But I use this to make a TikTok as well, and it did okay. But yeah, I, did, I don't like this page at all. I, I would rip this out, honestly. I can't believe I'm even showing you guys that. Ew, gross. All right, this page was for my Discord art challenge. We do, well, when I'm active on there, I'm not, I haven't been active in so long because ugh, life. But uh, we do a weekly character design challenge, and every time I come back, we'll do it for a couple weeks, and then I'll stop coming back because I fall off of the... Uh, 
can't keep up with things man discord instagram twitter everybody like i don't know how you guys do it it's hard enough posting a weekly youtube video which I, I really love doing all these things but it's just hard to like keep up so i don't know how you guys do it but anyway this is from our challenge i forgot what the challenge was but we had to draw a character based on like DD or something i don't remember but this was me brainstorming and then i took it to digital after that and then here's another drawing i did for content which a lot of this is for content now that i think about it but uh also i wanted to do something that was that i love which was pokemon and Wordle. i'm not like a pokemon enthusiast like everybody does i don't know how you remember all these pokemon names there's like a thousand but i'm a gen one i'm an og i had all the movies on vhs I had all the Pokemon cards back in the day. I'm OG, but I still love it, okay? Still one of my favorite things. This is a brainstorm for my comic. My comic sauce. This is gonna be the first page. I wanted it to be like a, a big page. It's supposed to be somebody graffitiing the word sauce. And you can see the kids in the background playing basketball and he's like, and that's a dub and they're winning and that never happened either, why? It'll happen, I promise. I promise, guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, this one. I just finished, I believe, the Scott Pilgrim anime. Yeah, that's crazy. That I did this many pages since the anime came out. But I wanted to make a print for the anime. But I ended up making a sticker sheet instead out of these. But this is still cool. Um, I started out in the sketchbook because I wanted to keep... Because I really like the line art for um, using pencils. I really like using pencils for line art. I don't know why. It's just... The sketchiness, you guys know I love the sketchiness. But look at 2-27-24, that's... So I jumped from October. I didn't touch this from October until February, which is crazy. What is that? Like three, four months? Three months? But I'm back. Random Spider-Man doodle. This was another TikTok thing. This is Steven Kojak on TikTok. He's a world famous, um... I think he's like a movie director or something like that. He's from Los Angeles. Pretty cool guy. Uh, yeah, I drew him for TikTok and uh, he reposted it. And then I felt really happy after that. I felt so accomplished. Once he noticed me, I'm like, damn, Stephen Kojak noticed me. If you guys don't know Stephen Kojak, you guys need to look up Stephen Kojak. Here's more stuff of me brainstorming. Look at that. From February to April. Oh my gosh. I took some months off of this thing. February to April. I actually believe this one was April as well, not this one. But I believe this was April as well. Anyways, all the way to April from February. More brainstorming of my character. I'm trying to find the easiest way to draw him over and over again, figure out his shapes. He's basically two circles and his head's basically an oval. But I'm trying to figure out how to draw that three fourths view and then keep it. But then I get it, I make him too square, but I want him to be round. And I put like a little note for myself. Eight head, round chin, low mouth, thick brows, low ears. I don't know what I meant. Oh, eight head. I drew a number eight for his head. That's what his head is. It's, it's a number eight. But then the eyes is what I'm having a hard time with because I love the circles, but then I love the long eyes sometimes. But these ones are good. I love these. Yeah, it's like I put too toony for the long eyes. But that's what I, this is what I love using sketchbooks for brainstorming and trying to figure stuff out I don't know if I'll ever have like go crazy and actually put time into a page see I love these like this this is cool so he's two four six heads tall three heads why do you say three heads that's more than three bro oh wait one two yeah he's three heads but he's eight spears no he's six spears three heads okay I'm stupid he has one wristband, he has two earrings, and he has some big old chunky shoes. That's uh, Tap, his name is Tap. Here's some more pages, here's another page of me brainstorming the character. I'm drawing this character a lot now that I notice. Oh, these are all my brothers, I was on FaceTime with him and I'm, I was drawing them all, but this is my youngest brother, he's all giga chad but um here's another sticker idea that i made digital but i haven't printed it yet but it's a sad robot sad robots they get a bad rap because ai some robots are cool terminator c3po this one's my son he comes to me sometimes and says if i could draw him like i drew him today with sonic and he came to me on this day and said he wanted to be a frog. So I drew him as a frog. And I tried to do a little 
she be adorable over the garden wall steven universe style i guess you could say i don't know Here's another page of my characters. Tap, Bay, Basco. I don't know why I put you. His name's Frank, though. Frank. Oh, yeah. See, I drew him better. I drew him bad here. And this is Lula. And this is Lil Chris. Basically, Tap is tap Tapatio, the hot sauce. Bay is Old Bay, hot sauce. Basco is Tabasco. Frank is Frank's hot sauce. Uh, Lula is Cholula hot sauce and Lil Chris is a crystal hot sauce they're all based on hot sauce and they're all based on friends and family that I grew up with this is my big cousin he's like a little cousin but he's bigger than me he's a big guy and then I drew some stitch for my niece she asked me if I could draw stitch and I was like yeah I could do that yeah I could do that here's some more tap wasted page this is my niece. This is me trying to figure out like a sticker design for Wolverine. My face again. I draw myself a lot too. Not, not that I'm going through this. I notice I draw myself a lot. Um, didn't like it. Another page with the tap. As you can see, I cannot keep the consistency with his face, but I like this one a lot. I need to capture that. How do I capture it? Also here I'm figuring out my signature because I'm during this time period I'm getting back into comic conventions and people are like oh can you sign my art and I hate my signature so I was like oh let me do something cooler so I was practicing that there's like a page in here where I just did a bunch of those here's a patreon sticker I did for snow which we did on Instagram a draws in your style challenge for snow this is a character I just made for some D&D &D thing that I did which I need to bring them back and then this Wolverine. Oh man, I was trying to mess around with some Wolverines for days. I think I did a video about this already. We're using I'm using highlighters here because, like I said, I change it up all the time. Now I'm going to highlighters, and this is like a marker I believe I'm using or a Posca. It might be a Posca. Yeah, see, I'm using highlighter here, highlighter, and I wrote a note for myself not wide enough because I wanted him to be like thick but like short because Wolverine's short and stubby, you know. Cool though, I love using highlighters. I don't know what this is. Oh, I was just drawing stuff out of shapes. And I think this is one of my kids or one of my nieces or nephews with them drawing over the shapes. But here's my tap character again. This one's like perfect almost. I feel like it's everything's spaced perfectly. I would just have to keep recreating this. I just don't, it's just hard. And then here's the Wolverine I love. He has big chunky arms, big chunky chest, little stubby legs. He's like a like a gorilla almost. But I love this one. I loved how I did it with a highlighter also. It's really good. That's really good. All right, another page with Cap again. I feel like I did a YouTube video on this already. Using highlighters again, I think I talked about this in another video, using highlighters, but uh, I like this logo. I already had a logo made, but I think I might use that one because I like the sketchiness. But I was trying expressions and trying to get a full body going. I want him to have round chunky hands, boxy fists, round eyes, and I'm basically here saying that his head's a wide oval. His mouth and nose is really low. See, I give myself little notes. But yeah, here's me playing with the logo again. I like the other one better. And cylinders, I told Maratsky, ZK, I think I posted on Instagram, somebody asked what's my favorite thing to draw, and I said cylinders, I love drawing cylinders, and he thought it was a joke, but I literally draw cylinders everywhere, if you go through all my sketchbooks, I'm always drawing cylinders, it wasn't a joke, man, I'm for real, uh, just some doodles, I forgot where I did these, why I did these, but I think I was just testing out the highlighter, anyway, cylinders, I love drawing cylinders, here's some more shapes, turned into characters i kind of like that one that's pretty cool this one's pretty cool too but yeah they're just doing shapes turning them into characters i hate that one looks like the rock and then here's one of my son he has these big pants he wears they're empire if he has no empire they're huge he's wearing like a little shirt that day and he just looks funny he had like sandals on too it just looked funny well he didn't have sandals on he had on shoes but they just look like sandals because his pants are so big and i was just making fun of him and he said like what the sigma and i thought that was funny pretty cool guy and then one of my nieces asked me to draw, or nephew, I don't remember who it was. I was at somebody's house and they said, can you draw Spider-Man eating a chili dog or something? 
And here's my character, um, Turtle from Silverwood, my comic, which the first three pages are on Webtoon. If you want to go read that, they're a year old. I got to finish that. And then here's my little mascot for my, uh, my Etsy, my sticker shop. His name is Rami and he's a ramen bowl and the sticker shop is called Sticky Ramen. I love it. It's pretty cool. I was gonna make it myself, but I was like, mm, nah, I don't want to be the mascot. Let's make a new one. Here's more of my character, Turtle. I like this one a lot. I have like the same face syndrome, but I like it. And then this one, I just got done watching X Men '97. You guys haven't watched X Men '97? You're crazy. You need to go watch it like right now. It's pretty good. Uh, I love Nightcrawler's design in that show. I wanted to do something in my own style, but trying to imitate the his face a little bit i hate to sell i was trying out brush pens here you ever use brush pens i mean they're cool i like them but they smear a lot here's my alien dude from the lego video i hate it i loved it at the time i love the idea at the time but i hate i don't like it the lego alien dude let me get out of here let me run away hey more cylinders this is tap i don't know where i did this at a lot of the times I fill up my pages like this is when I'm not home because I take my sketchbook everywhere and I'll usually be sitting somewhere and I'm just going crazy. But yeah, cylinders, tap, you got the ball. The comic book's about basketball if you haven't put that together yet. But uh, yeah, cylinders. Some Wolver Oh yes, I was at Lodi Comic Con I believe when I was drawing these. Wolverine, Gambit, I was playing around with like some ballpoint pen that i had super fine tip but uh yeah i was at lodi comic con i believe yes i was because here it is the drawing i did i think i posted this on instagram the mood i was just like awkward but uh i was hungry hangry i wanted pizza drawing cylinders i have a unibrow And then here's some more tap, which he does not look like the other tap I showed you guys on model. Now his eyes are more square. Why are they square? I don't know, but look at you see what I'm doing here. I'm brainstorming. I'm getting ideas. I'm drawing the ideas out. Nothing here is finished, but this would be a cool print too. Now that I think about it. Here's another drawing from a YouTube video where I did Lego character design. This is the pirate Phibian, like Phibia or Phibian, like, uh, is it bone called a Phibia? Phibia? Yeah, I believe it is. Phibia. Tibia and Phibia, yeah. I like this one a lot. I would want to do something with that. Maybe make a sticker. I don't like this one. This didn't come out how I thought it was going to come out. Ugly. Use brush pens, and I use another pen. I'm just like, I'm just trying new things. I like this one, though. But I'm just trying new things, guys. Try new things. And then this. This is, um,. Fire and Ice convention, the little toy show or game show I did. I used the Posca pen, pink one. Oh yeah, look I put right here, I'm inside of Kirby. Ain't making no dough, cause I wasn't making no money. And then, oh yeah, these back here, you can't really see them no more, but there was like plushies in the background. There was a Knuckles, Sonic, and two Master Chiefs, I drew those. And then it had a big Mario plushie thing. And I said Mario's dance of dollars. But these are more plushies they had. Look at more cylinders. Oh, more cylinders. And in this one, I was just like, damn, halfway through the day, I'm tired. I'm done. I got to get out of here. And I was hungry and I was thirsty. I was drinking water, but I always carry my jug of water. You just know that. My jug of water goes with me everywhere. I don't care if I gotta go to the bathroom 100 times. I'm staying hydrated, boys. There's my Posca pen. There's a Oh yeah, I was using my brush pen here and it ran out of ink. So this is why this ink looks different, because I ran out. But uh, yeah, my phone, March Cylinders, Fire and Ice, May 25th. That was only, what, two months ago? Pretty cool page, I like that page. And then here I'm playing with the blue. And I was like so bored, I was like, I wonder what the Kardashians are doing right now. I'm writing my name. And then it says, did I what this right? Did I say this right? I don't even know what that says. Did I? Oh, did I spell this right? What did I spell? I don't even know what I spell, but I asked if I spelled it right. Oh, Garfield. Oh, and then this is from Instagram. What is it called? There's an Instagram called like 
world of faces or something like that a lot of people are following it but they just post portraits of people all the time i was just drawing a bunch of portraits i think my favorite one is probably this one that's my favorite one the sassy one oh i had another idea for a comic book called the dragon's lair about a kid i don't know if i made a video about this either a kid who's bullied right and then he ends up beating the bullies and then all the other kids are like grateful and then other schools find out that he's like the bully destroyer <laughs> so he gets paid to go to other schools and beat up the bullies and here he is fighting all the bullies and it turns out the high school kids are training the younger kids to become bullies so he goes to a high school to beat up the bullies at the high school and then it turns out the principal is like the ringleader like the mastermind kingpin who's running the whole thing and he's like making everybody these kids into bullies so he has to end up fighting the principal which is gonna be sick if i ever get it. it's called the dragon's lair because the character's he's the dragon and then he has to unleash the dragon on everybody but yeah he pay, he's paid to beat up bullies and then here is where i got the Arctic's markers you guys seen that video maybe a couple weeks ago damn i did all this in like a week uh, i was trying to draw halucha is my favorite pokemon not my favorite Squirtle's my favorite but i love halucha uh, I was thinking about what Pokemon should I draw for this little canvas and then I just didn't go with Halucha. I don't know why I forgot and I was just testing out colors that go with each other. And then here's my little fake Mon, like a Haunter looking dude. Pretty cool. And then this is me, Earth is my planet. Playing with colors, playing with color pencils, trying to get that illustrator look, you know, illustration, kids book stuff. Oh, here's an idea for another character I had. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have an idea for a character. He was just like a little ball. And he had like double cheek. He was like double cheeked up. But his head is like a spray paint cap. I don't know. <laughs> I forget this page. Don't look at it. Here's Cyclops. He's in the Arctic markers and the Arctic color pencils. Love this one. I think I might make this digital. I love that one a lot. And then here's me practicing my signature like I told you guys I was trying to get like a cool flow going Also doing some turtles for that little canvas I did on video which is another video I don't even know what video it is I did it for the Arctic markers also Here's that Deadpool from that video I did I uh, love the mark don't love these I do love the cylinders I do love the colors and the way that it feels I can't explain it but it feels good And then this one is also I made this into a print but i didn't really love the head shape of this one but after i redid that other drawing in last week's video where i sat there for 12 hours and tried to perfect it and then it just was too like perfect looking and i hated it this is way better now in my eyes compared to the other one even though the other one's proportionally accurate this one's not proportionally accurate it's kind of doo-doo like he looks all like if i put this in a mirror he'd probably be super lopsided and i could see that but i love it because it's me i'm not perfect my art's not perfect. I love the sketchy vibes. You guys already know that. This one, I don't know if I showed this in the video. Did I show this in the video? I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, I love this one too. This one would probably be a cool print as well. I don't know. Love the colors on this one. I swear the Arctic's markers, dude. I don't know, bro. Like, I can't even explain it to you until you guys get it. Like, it looks so opaque where I wanted it to be opaque. Like, some I wanted to keep it sketchy, but where I wanted it to be opaque, it's like... It just, I don't know, it just feels, it's just like melted butter, dude, that's all I could say. And then here's, um, Toby. Eyes are so pointy, I'm giving myself notes, he needs wider shoulders, his chin's super boxy, he has a super thin waist, broad shoulders. This one I love, I love this one so much. I actually took this one to my last convention, what, last week? Did it sell one? I couldn't believe it, because I love this one. But, here's me playing around with, um... Obi, this one I sold like eight. I want to say eight prints of this one, which I'm happy because I only took ten with me. That one's dope. Love this one. It'll be like newspaper in the back. I don't know if you guys can tell. Kind of looks like newspaper, right? And this last page is my character Sky from a comic book I started in 2015 and never finished. Never did anything with it. I keep redoing it over and over again. But this is his final design. I hate his face though in this one. I like his face here. I might do something with that. Uh, but yeah, his name's Sky. There's a comic book. It's called Warp Draw. Or Warped. I haven't decided yet. But it's just about a bunch of cousins who play games over the summer. And it's 
kind of like World of Warcraft a little bit and League of Legends put together and they get they don't get stuck in the game but like they're kids so they're playing the game and they feel like they're in the game but they're not really but they're just like zombies like the parents are walking in and see them and they're just like zombies but really they're like just so addicted to the game like I am to Minecraft right now and here's the last page sketch it's just a sketch one year huh maybe the fastest I ever finished a sketchbook this final page is stinky yeah it is oh yeah and I have a moustache at the time of complete I have a moustache right now you guys seen that uh, next sketchbook will mainly be for study so I have two sketchbooks I already bought I have this little thin one right here it's like a little baby one this is gonna be just for studies and I think I'm only gonna use red pencil and red pen I want to just do arms and legs and stuff I'm I suck at and hands this one I debating I'm taking I want to take it to a convention and get commissions in this one but the paper is super thin so I might just use this one as studies as well but I'm gonna study other artists so for example, I have another page in one of my other sketchbooks, which let me show you that. So this sketchbook is from 2019, but I have a bunch of pages that I never finished. I believe I probably showed this on a video before, but I have a bunch of empty pages in the back. What I've been doing is going to like artists that I um, like. Like this is panel per day, and I'm like trying to figure out his line weight and his shapes. Like this character is literally a triangle. So I'm trying to figure that out on his head's a circle. And then this dude literally just a triangle but I give myself notes he needs more hunch he needs to be more compact he has a little feet stuff like that and then um just some of his characters like this one's a circle triangle rectangle circle triangle rectangle and then this one's just a bunch of rectangles and circles I think that's it for this yeah the sketchbook is from 2019 but I just added those pages a couple of days ago so I'm thinking in this book I'm only gonna do studies of other artists and just try to figure out how do they do it and then just at the end of it incorporate everything I learned into my own characters because I like my cartoony style but I talked about this before I applied for a job at Marvel and they actually wrote me back and told me what they're looking for and they gave me some critique and all that I was super happy about that they just said they wanted more accurate proportions on characters and that's like my goal for the rest of this year just to get some accurate proportions but also i still want to do my cartoon stuff because i love drawing as a cartoon girl but anyways that's my sketchbook we're done when did we finish this 7 18 24 how many days ago was that three four days ago i don't know a couple days ago uh i'm recording this a couple days before i uploaded it on monday but yeah happy monday hope you guys like my sketchbook if you guys don't want to hear me yap just mute me and just watch my pages you just won't get the full explanation for each page um, what was your favorite page? I would like to know because my favorite page has to be the the Japanese Spider-Man, the Toei Spider-Man. That's my favorite page. But I want to know your favorite page. I don't know. Do you guys have a favorite page? There's so many pages. Just just let me know what you guys like. And thank you. If you watch this whole video, it's like 20 minutes long. If you watch the whole thing, thank you for watching it. Thank you for being here. Please check out my Patreon. I post art there that I don't post everywhere else. It's behind the scenes stuff. We have a monthly sticker club. You don't need to pay. It's free. The sticker club costs $5, but you don't need to pay to join. I have longer videos over there. I just uploaded a three hour long video over there. So if you guys want to check that out, that'd be dope. Everybody who supports the Patreon, I appreciate you so much. You guys are so dope. And that's probably it for me. I'll see you guys next monday i don't know what next monday's video is gonna be but uh if you have any maybe if, maybe i got a q a going let's let's cook up a q a ask me some questions in the comments i'm gonna post something on instagram ask me some questions over there we'll do a q a and i'll do a little bit of a, a room tour i'm not gonna show you guys my whole room because i sleep in this room and that'd be kind of weird but i'll show you guys my little creative area set up and where i got cooking yeah all right happy monday have a good one thank you guys uh bye peace out don't do drugs stay in school all right bye